Ladies and gentlemen, after a three-week hiatus, three yes, weeks, sir. we are back in the building, the house that Surgeon Alfie built, Flow Ohio Studios. You are listening to his, hers, and ours, a real-life couple holding real-life conversation with real-life friends. I am your co-host, Solomon Davis, joined, as always, by... Shannon Rhea Davis. Three weeks. Yeah. It's been a long three weeks. A lot has happened, so we got to do some catching up. Yeah, for real. Yes. So what's been going on for you over these past three weeks? You should know. You've been with me the three weeks. Like, stop playing. I'm, I'm, asking, yeah. I'm asking for the culture. Fill the people in what's the been going on. The culture will get it as we roll into this show. <laughs> they know We've missed them dearly. Um, we apologize for you know not being able to bring them to the show, but we're back. All right. All right. So I've been uh, keeping up what's been going on in Tampa lately via social media. Uh, the uh, the night dedicated to Shock G. Serge, how did that go? Man, that was dope. I only got, I I had uh, I had uh, one of the shows. I finished it up. Had to hurry up and get over there. I don't mm-hmm. know why am I forgetting their name. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Shout out anyway, to the show was with. Shout out to the bud. <laughs> Anyways, did the show. Hurry up. Got in the car. Got to Ebor. Parked. And right when I was walking in was Gino was getting ready to go on stage. I got to rock with Gino. We did phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And it was awesome. It was awesome. That's what's up. Shout out to Crowbar, the night yeah. dedicated to Shock G. Um, Tampa legend. Crowbar. Sample supporting its own. That's just how we do here in Tampa Bay. Yeah, it was Absolutely. So. We are champs. So with that being said, we are um, putting Tampa Bay back on. Um, we got two guests in here that, for the first time, we got return guests. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> return guests. I'm loving it because these are two of our, our more popular guests who, who made their shows very interesting. And I'm going to start off with, with who I'm going to call the OG because I've known him for so long. And I'm going to ask you a question about that. But my man, the church Sinatra, Robert Ooh. Thomas. Welcome What's back. What's going on, Rob? It's the ghetto philosopher, the big boy president. I love it. The chairman of the deacon board. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> In the building. How y'all doing? Okay, we just, okay. trying to, just trying not to put the church money on the floor. Hey, I'll pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're also joined by the lovely, lovely Tiffy D, Miss Tiffany Davis. What's going on, sweetie? I'm good. I'm good. How's everything going? You just you mentioned something to us, told us about a little artist showcase you had at the yeah. restaurant. Um, yeah, I had a um, small event. Um, helping a friend of mine out um it's kind of last minute but i was able to it was kind of like a hey welcome to my restaurant even though it's not open yet but Mm -hmm. you know just to continue on happening so i'm trying to bring more people out to the city of lake wales Um, trying to get it popping out there since it's so dead most definitely most Um, definitely um it was it was nice um i like the the atmosphere, um, the people, they were laid back. It wasn't no no ratchetness going on. <laughs> <No> ratchet. um, <laughs> even though it was a hip-hop event, yeah. Okay. Everybody was real cool, real professional, and I, I like that. So um, it turned out to be a really nice event. Right. Lake Wells, you say? Yeah, um, old Polk County. Oh, 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 that's, oh, that's some great <laughs> Judd village. You know? Yeah, yes, that's what you yeah, want to yeah, call yeah. it. That <laughs> is, look, that yeah. is. Grady yeah, Judd right. is the... Halfway point between Tampa and Orlando. Look, yeah. Grady yeah. Judd is the president, yeah, the yeah, commissioner. He everything over there. I don't oh, knock him. I ain't mad at not him. Not me neither. I'm going to take him. over Grady. I'll, yeah. take, I'll take it. I would. No, I'm going to take over Grady. You're going to take over? I'm going to take his spot. Y'all going to call it Tiffany. Oh, okay. Tiffany's County. Tiffany oh, okay. County. <laughs> Tiffany County in the house. We're going to sip on that. <laughs> and then, as usual, we have... Joined Al- by the residential guest, Mr. Alfie Santana, in the building. What's going on, man? I'm here. Welcome back. Get down here. I'm here. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I survived. <laughs> That's what's up. So. That's what's up. So, Miss uh, Davis, what's up? What's so, on your mind? Oh, well, I had some things that I've been jotting down since we've been on break, and I just wanted to bring it to the table, bring mm. it to the church, and see what y'all have to say Ooh, about it. Oh, bring it to the church. So, so before we get started, all hearts and minds, please. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Okay. All, right. all right. So, one of the things that I was looking at just through, you know, social media and things like that, you know, you have when celebrities, you know, uh, go back to their exes, they receive all this praise. Mm-hmm. 
But, you know, when, like, the average chick, like, let's just say, I'm just using name Keisha. She an average woman out here. <laughs> goes back to her man. She's stupid. Ooh. So, Ooh. I'll give you an example. J-Lo, she doubles back all the time. Yes, And does. everybody be like, oh, we so happy to see them together. Yeah. But why is it a struggle for us to just see the average female go back to her man? You don't know what he's done and how long it, it could be a J-Lo and Ben situation where there's been years in between. But they're like, girl, you know what he did last time. And, and everybody trying to down talk that. Mm. So why is that okay? It's not necessarily okay, but what I'm going to say about that, you get a situation with celebrities, you know, J-Lo, Ben Affleck, whoever, Diddy, whomever. She ain't go back to Diddy, And whatever. when they do double back, you no, never know. Go back to him. You never know what the reason was for the separation. It was never publicized. The the average around the way girl, Keisha, Angela, Pamela, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know, I love you. That was good. When they when they leave around everybody in bad mouth, the baby daddy or mm-hmm. the significant other. So you can't double back because you'll look like a fool for going back after you said so many things about him. Right. Mm. So, I mean, it's no different. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's the difference. Like, there is no difference to me. If you double back, you double back. For whatever your reasons are or rationale, you owe that explanation to no one but yourself. So, for me, I mean, I I haven't, I, yeah, I ain't double back. That ain't my thing. Sure. I really, yeah, I ain't really double back. You don't, being in, in a marriage and you come back to the same marriage, that ain't double back. That's, you ain't never left. So that's that's something different. We break up all the time, you know, in our heads or whatever. We just get back together. But I'm just saying, like, I just think that people, to me, I think that it's the way of the world in a sense. Like, these people with all this money get all the, the, the hype. And, like, yeah, girl, they, they look so good together. You don't know what the rationale was from behind. They're not going to ever tell us that. Keisha could be going through it. She could have been just struggling along. He may have at the time didn't have a job or whatever. Now he's in a better financial situation and he's better able to be the provider of his home and be able to help her, you know, be a better helpmate in this situation. But people always will give, you know, rag us, just the average Joe. And I, to me, I'm going to put it on the fact that usually it's brown women that, that kind of do that to each other, or brown, brown men and women that do that to each other. Um, I'm just going to throw that out there because I feel like there's a bit of colorism in that in that whole process. So you're basically removing the celebrity status and then... Just, just stating that it's okay for others to double back and go back in their pretty relationships. Pretty much. But for And nobody us. really has nothing to say. I think they kind of mind the business that pay them. I think we invest in each other a little too much. Well, once again, I mean, I'm going to go back to my original comment. I think that as colored folks, we kind of put everybody in our <laughs> business all the time. And so... See, your point, counselor, sustained. Exactly. So, you know, you kind of look dumb when you're going out and you bash somebody. And, oh, he this, he that, she this, she then that, or what have you. Then just go back on, then go the on a promotion thing. tour. Say he back, he good. Let me show you. But how let, you know he, how you know he good? But it you ain't been, for I mean, you to been know. Doing stuff. It's for me to tell you that he's doing it good. It was never for you to know. Yeah. That's why you should have put the business out there in the first place. It, and so there it is. As, as, as colored folks, we, we put our business out there too much. And, you know, we, we promote when it's good and we bash when it's bad. Mm-hmm. Not knowing that. You and I had a conversation earlier this week where I told you about um, my man, and I'm going to give him all the props in the world, Emmanuel Acho. Yeah. He made a statement that I found so profound. My man mm-hmm. stated that the reason why we as colored folks are not successful, we sacrifice what we mo- what we want most for what we want now. Mm. And when I sat back and thought about that in a lot mm. of the different situations, I was like, man, that's that's really profound. You don't look at the long-term goal. You're not willing to put in the work. You're not willing to go in and, and give it your all and sacrifice those little things that, you know, perfect situation. You know, if I'm if I'm an athlete and I know I should be in the gym training, right. but my boys call me up and say, hey, we're going to the club tonight. No, nah, I'm not skipping this workout. You know, right. I got to get this in because it's going to help me meet my long-term goal versus, right. oh, this is what I want right now. Right. So let me go ahead and put that to the side, to the back burner. Mm-hmm. You know, and I just think a lot of us, me included back in the day. You know, yeah. we subscribe to that mentality. It's what I want now. You, you, you wasn't the only one. You know, so. <laughs> no, nah, you wasn't the only one. Nah, I'm I, sure. I want what I want. At that time, I wanted what I wanted at that time. Uh, now, he, like you said, he's kind of right about that. Now I'm looking at the long term, which I should have been looking at that when I was in my 20s and not when, you know, 
approaching a certain number. Right. Mm-hmm. But I think yeah. that's OG, the, OG, right. yeah, yeah, OG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think that's just, that's how we're kind of, I think our, our home life kind of prepares us in that way of mm-hmm. how we should think outside you know some families do free thinkers like you allow your kids to be able to process those things and try to push more focus on them we had a kid kid who now looks at her life like dang i really blew this opportunity when we were trying to do those things for a gifted athlete you know got a scholarship for college because they don't hand them out you have to get those yeah, you, you have to work, work for, for them yeah. but when you get to that next level she wasn't prepared in enough like I, she was prepared book wise mm-hmm. but not understanding how to juggle those two so that's something that you have to breed that like it's in some people to be instinctually like you have to be like they know that okay this is how i'm gonna eat this is how i want to eat for the rest of my life Mm -hmm. if you don't have a passion for it, you are going to settle for those things for the right now that's just i think that's just how we are i think we'll just settle for what's right now because we don't have that passion for it when and i think sometimes it takes time for us to get in that space so then that goes back to what we talked about on previous episodes when it comes about when it comes to dating i mean Mm -hmm. do we establish with the person that we're dating what it is that we're doing are we just doing this to have fun we doing it for the moment we doing it long term because i do feel if you define those things there are certain things that you know flaws and all you will accept versus if you're looking for just short term now in the moment that once you come across one of those flaws you out you're gone on to the next one Mm. but if i set down you know and set my expectations set what it is that my goals are with you as my significant other Mm -hmm. then some things i'm going to work through that i might not pay attention to up versus someone else that it's in the moment but you also got to take into account like what phase in your life you're in if you're in your early 20s in, in black culture, you know, y'all living y'all best lives, late 30s and shit, yeah, yeah, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. But anyway, because I'm just, I, I felt the type of way. I just think that black men, I, they don't, they're not, you you guys, like I, I, me and my friend were having a conversation this morning, I should say. Mm. And it went into a thing about how we groom our kids. I think as a culture, we don't groom our kids, our young men and young women to be marriage material or in in, in that mindset or to think marriage. Mm. We groom them in a different way because they, we don't, you notice that most guys, like look at Trevor Lawrence, those guys who get signed early and and out of college, those white athletes, they be married. They be coming into the NBA, NFL, NBA, wherever they're coming into already married because they've had a a mindset of a family a family mindset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think, I think we come from so many broken homes that we don't look at the bigger picture. No. And, and think of, okay, yeah, our love language sometimes, and, and this is crazy that I say this because I'm, I'm guilty of it, and it wasn't necessarily a love language, it was just, it happened. We are so comfortable in our culture being baby mamas and baby daddies. And mm. that needs, that, there has to be some type of generational curse that breaks. Mm. But where is that going to be broken? Because I look at it in a situation like this. Priorities are different in that in that perspective. For so long, we've gone without as a culture, as black folks, as brown folks and what have you. So when we get a little bit of something, we get out there and we want to showboat. Yeah. We want to let everybody know that, hey, we've arrived. Mm-hmm. On the reverse side of that, if a black male, if, if we're going to use athletes for as you used NFL, NBA, what have you. On the reverse side, once the female, you know, she's looking for, not all, but she's looking for a come up. And if I see that, hey, this young man in the eighth, ninth grade, they're already marketing him as the next one. Oh, the you chosen to one. To my next subject, but I, it's I kind of slightly told you this. But week. hold on, I led, I led you into that a long time. Oh, go ahead, that's, whatever. That's, that's, <laughs> anywho, you know. go ahead as you are. So now it's like, okay, you know, I really don't want to be here in school. I see he's about to sign for X amount of dollars. Let me go ahead and attach my wagon on his gravy train and see what I can get out of this. So my one thing that I say is before we even go in that. I need to for y'all to explain to me why are we comfortable as a culture just, you know, having a kid without the commitment, not even searching for uh, that commitment or getting in that like sacrificing that. what you want most for what you want now. A lot of Am time, I looking at the 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 
responsibilities that are going to come with my actions right now or he just so fine you know and girl mm -hmm. i got him this and that but yeah go ahead and slide in unprotected this and that and the other not knowing that hey when you come up pregnant he gone and then not necessarily that because there are people who are in these long-term relationships that will do that so that's i'm not just saying like just oh because like i said I, i'm guilty i have a kid that was I, like she yeah, wasn't even got, made out of sweet, love she was a talk. my bad and yeah, i ain't mad at sweet it talk. Yeah. it wasn't a sweet talk it yeah, was yeah. no nah, it was you got caught slipping and yeah, i i own yeah. that all day i own that all day and i and i help her understand that that Slip. i wanted her to understand Fall. she wasn't don't do that <laughs> everybody went to granddad the when they was the ready to have a baby but anyway, um, she wasn't made from love, like, in that mm -hmm. sense. Like, it was just, it was an Some attraction. Yeah, it was an attraction, and it just lasted longer. And me knowing full well that this isn't a person that I desired to be with long term, that was my bad. Because I understood that. I clearly understood it and clearly expressed that. It was just got caught slipping. So I'm not mad. I'll take that L. You know, like, I don't usually do that. But I always said the next kid around, that ain't what we doing. I just wanted so much more for myself. I don't want to just be your friend, your baby mom. Like, we cool. Like, I'm, I don't have no issues, but I just didn't want to just be that. I need, I require more because I did come from a two-parent household. Mm -hmm. And um, and not that they did it right when they got married, don't get me wrong, or whatever the case may be, but they were the best versions of what I, the idea of what I expected to see. It was, and it was dysfunctional, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like this, uh, this wasn't the Huxtables or nothing like that. They were a working family, but... It was always my desire to be like, okay, I see the security in having that. Like, I understand what it is. I see the partnership that they have. I see that he didn't, you know, require this of her or she didn't require that of him. They just made it work, and it worked to, to, whatever, it, to whatever perfection it needed to work to. And, I, and that's what I desired. I just did not see the need to want to be a baby mama. Like, I just didn't want to be that. As a young father, you know, I was, I was pretty much the only dude. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Let me not say that. But I was pretty much the only one who stepped in the ball game and said, okay, I'm going to be that dad. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a kid way before I even graduated. You know what I mean? So uh, no mentorship as far as what it's supposed to look like. But I did have the idea like, okay, if I had a kid with you, I want all my kids to be from you. Mm -hmm. Did that happen? Nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like you said, she wasn't conceived in love at all. It was just like, oh, you know, we cool or whatnot. Let's see. Oh, are, are you checking for all Yeah. Uh, gotcha. All right. Checking for all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> let me, yeah. Let me get what's up. I ain't know you felt that way. So, gotcha. you know, we're going to go ahead and do a little something. And then it got caught up. But, but. Being caught up and having a kid, I still started to look at her like, okay, if I'm going to have any more kids, I want them to be with you. So I don't have to have several different baby mothers, mm -hmm. which I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I, I wanted that. I had that idea. Now, a lot of young people don't have that idea. They just right. think about, mm -hmm. okay, he need to be my man right now. Right. Just for the sake of. Right. For us, it wasn't no grand. Mm-hmm. Oh, but for the gram, you're going to do it. They're going to do it. You know, they now, like the now it's for the gram. Okay, that's my man, and I got to put it out there. But for us, it wasn't nowhere near that. It was like, okay, we just going to do this because that's what we were taught. So, gotcha. You know. Tiffany, yeah. what do you think on that? Well, um, I actually I feel the same way that he does. I had a, um, my child. The first child I had, I wasn't with the father. Um, it was a oops. Uh, <laughs> they have like and I think, I'll be honest like I, a real just to put out there is that like I think the first kid unless you're truly in that marriage or in that relationship we that deep, marry. Yeah, but mm. I'm saying like that's yeah. usually it's not planned it's usually not something that's scheduled I actually, and you like, yeah. I used to crack jokes um, <laughs> I was active duty army I used to um, I didn't want to go uh, <laughs> I didn't want to deploy oh. and I used to tell everybody all the time I'm gonna get pregnant so I'm gonna get me pregnant yeah but I was only messing with one person so I was like, okay, somebody go get me pregnant. <laughs> Next thing you know, I go to get my what, my third anthrax vaccination, and oh, that's when they came up positive. Yeah, 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 I got that too. <laughs> and I said, oh shit, I'm pregnant. I said, it was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, and then I had to think about it too. I'm like, man, my grandmama told me not to have no kids out of wedlock. <laughs> right. <laughs> she was a minister. 
Next thing you know, I'm pregnant. He had to go to Korea. The whole time I was pregnant, he was gone. Damn. Wow. I had the baby. Came back a few weeks later after I had the baby. Grandma was like, y'all getting married? I'm like, dang, Grandma, I got to get married. <laughs> 21 years old. Nobody at Ended up getting married. And yeah, I ended definitely. up getting married. Ended up never living with this man. Wow. Because we were both active duty army. Gotcha. And I'm Ooh, like, dang. Iraq. Then I was like, dang. I'm about to have this baby pretty much by myself. Because mm-hmm. I did. The only person mm-hmm. I had was what? My parents and my grandma. So, um, you know, I ended up going overseas. They were taking care of him. He got injured in Iraq. He never once tried to go and see this baby while he was in the United States. And I was oh, still wow. in Iraq. That's how I knew this wasn't going no further. Gotcha. And we had totally different mind frames about everything. Like, he wanted to go to school for culinary arts. He claimed he was going to go back home to Maryland and do it. I'm sitting here like, hmm, I don't want to live in Maryland. Um, I want to go like home to fish? Chicago. Huh? You don't like crab <laughs> It wasn't about the food. It wasn't about no food, it about the food. I, I was a cook in the army. I could cook my own food. Okay. <laughs> it was just a. It was just a fact. I just didn't want to go there. I had other dreams. Um, I had you know a dream of, of being a nurse at the time, and I just you know we 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 just was on two different boats. We went on the same boat, so right. it, I ended up uh, we ended up getting a divorce. Um, and with that divorce came him having a lot of animosity against me. But you weren't together, so um, we were never together. Yeah, that's that we didn't man actually thing. talk. Gotcha. Until so that until that child was thirteen years old. Mm. Oh wow! And yeah, then nah. that's because his wife came out of nowhere and mm-hmm. messaged me. So, um, you know, when I look at that, I'm like, dang, I don't never want this to happen again. So then I met my now son's father. Um, we both had the same agreement. Let's have a boy. He had two girls. I had my daughter. So hi, wait, first off, I'm gonna pause because I'm gonna need John to tell me who y'all was talking to to let you know it was gonna be a boy. Hey, I, oh, that was like long. I didn't even understand that. What? Y'all were doing it in a certain position. That was all. Yeah, we missed that one because I showed up with got two girls. That was that was all me. It was all on me. I had to stop drinking. I was like, you better take the vitamin zinc. I kept reading. Um, I was praying. So you was manifesting. So, of course, to me, I think I did it. But, you know, yeah, yeah. man, actually, <laughs> it was the one to do it all. But I thought I did it. But <laughs> So, yeah, ended up having this boy. But, um, and he was, and actually was the first person I ever lived with. Mm-hmm. Um, it didn't work out. He was emotionally and verbally abusive. Mm-hmm. So, um, we had Wait, so did you marry out. him? Never married Never him. Never married him? Nope. Wow. So I've only been married once. Gotcha. So after I left him, marriage was just not in the front of my head. Gotcha. Know? I moved what? I moved here to Florida. So what was it about him that made you feel like, okay, the first time not the first time is like, okay, I get it. This is what happened. We were married. It didn't work out. Cool. Let's move on. But you meet this new guy. And you decide to have a kid with them. What was it about him that was just like, okay, let me let my guard down. I'm ready to be his, you know, his like, inter- have his, that. his interactions in front of me with his girls. Just think about what I said. In front of me with his girls made me think that he was a good father. Mm-hmm. So how was he with your daughter? Oh, my daughter can care less about anybody, so it didn't even matter. Oh, so, gotcha. <laughs> she was a teenager anyway. Gotcha. And she's older than the, his two girls. Okay. So I guess so. an even better question, because now no, looking back and knowing how you said it ended with him being verbally and physically abusive and what have you, what is it that he showed you, you know, that he, where he was able to mask that? Right. What is it that oh, you man. saw that he, said, he masked I, that a I lot. want him to, to be my He child masked that a lot. And I think they all do the same shit. Um, <laughs> you know, oh, I'm going to be there for you. Oh, baby, I'll do this for you. You ain't got to worry about it. You know, I'm going to protect you. I'll do everything for you. Mm. And oh, Solomon ain't get it that easy because he sure was on a mission that had to prove to me like you could even get along with my kid. And it took us so well, long got because I just really my didn't. Kid. My thing was no, it was just a whole I just interaction. Knew my kid didn't care. Yeah, no, I needed so, I needed know. my kid to care. I needed her to at least know that she if played the I role left, well. that he was she was <laughs> she safe with him. Oh yeah, 
Hey, she so. played the role very well with him. Um, she had her last draw with him too. Mm. Uh, but you know, it's not. I can't. I don't. I'm the I'm the type of mom that I'm not gonna sit there and tell my kid, oh, you need to hate him. You you right. need to do that. I've never done that to her. You Maybe. figure it out yourself. That is all on you. Right, but it's I'm important a- for me. It was important for like my kid to at least acknowledge, like, want to spend time with that person and and have a true chemistry with that person. Mm-hmm. They form their own bond. There used to be times we used to be sitting that stuff, and they are uh, teamed up on me. And I'm like, yo, wait a minute, you your loyalty here, homegirl. Like, what's up? But it was never like that. It was just that I I, I was like, okay. He's taking care of my kid. He's shown mm-hmm. me that this is what he can do. This is the type of person that he's going to be. I expre- explicitly swear it's, I ain't going to be your baby mama. Like, you, we going to have to have a, they're going to have to be some type of, I refuse to be anybody else's baby mama. I refuse to be anybody mm-hmm. else's baby mama. Because <laughs> you're so mad about that word. Anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But I refuse to be anybody else's baby mama. That was my goal. I was like, no, I'm in my, th- now I'm 30. So I'm like, yo, we, we ain't doing this. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to be sitting up here letting you, Milk me out and put all these miles on this car. This no, we are not doing that. Oh, the car. You gonna have to own it. You gonna have to own it. <laughs> there go that car. So it was more of more of that thing for me. And then when he, when, I mean, he showed that, and it took us time to even get to that space because I think it just had to be the timing and the places that we were. Because although we were ready at that point and married, it still was just kind of like the timing. I just didn't feel like okay because I was vibing with him and I thought that he was just this good guy and he could buy this and do that. I just didn't feel like, okay, he can give me, a, like, he going to take care of my baby. No. Uh-uh. He ain't had no children. He the first. He thought, I was like, now, see, that was, the pressure was on me at that point. Like, yeah. yo, he don't have no kids, and you going to give him one? Like, this real this real fresh. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it, at least. Y'all got to learn. Yeah, together. we had to learn, yeah, and we had to know everybody I was. It, I see it totally different. I mean, from her vantage point, why wouldn't it be? He has no kids, so I don't have to worry about no baby mama drama. I don't have to worry about and you know him comp- uh, other kids competing for attention with my child. Well, maybe, maybe because she was used to, uh, you know, being with someone who already had kids and knowing what what to expect. Right, but I, I say, and I asked this to you on the last show mm-hmm. that you were on. Guys with no kids or who haven't been married, Alfie, Alfie agreed with this as well. Mm-hmm. Y'all get a bad we rap. Get, we get a we get a bad, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. wrong with them? First yeah. off, like, this in, is... Inexperience is the yeah. one thing. That's all it yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, inexperience. I, I hate to say that. I need to speak well, to Well, it's not even that. I think that if the men... If I met somebody that didn't have kids, I would be kind of worried. Right. Well, well, now why? That's how they're going to be because I'm coming in with a There's kid already. I have, no, it's not that you don't have... You can you can get experience. Well, shoot, when we have a baby, we ain't got no experience. Right. right. So what I'm saying is... <laughs> so they don't come see, with a manual. <laughs> see, that's an issue. There's a lesson like, hey, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. This is how it happens when you have a baby. No, you right. have the baby... You have a, a, a motherly instinct about yourself that you don't know. I don't know, know about there. men having fatherly instincts. <laughs> right, the kids so, out here without them. I, just, right. so I, I get scared. So I have been, I have been approached. I've been approached a lot by men that have no kids. They don't even got any nieces and nephews. And, and um, <laughs> that was silent. He and I'm no like, nieces, nephews, dang. no brother, no. So you're not even around no kids, right? How do you feel about my kid? Now look. You coming into a relationship? Like with, you if said, you want, there is no instruction manual. When you got pregnant right, and you had not. your daughter, right, you but, had to learn on the fly. But it's 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 nerve wracking for me because I'm thinking like, dang, I got a whole teenager and then a toddler. Right. You coming into the relationship? How you gonna handle that damn female teenager with an attitude? Mm. And right. then that wild four year old. What you know what they're writing for? Right. Right. Because. Hold on, That's hold the on. part you that had, you think you had a teenager with I didn't, an attitude. She wasn't a teen yet. Yes, she, was. she wasn't a no, teen yet. No, when but, Royal was born. Oh, okay, you had a yeah, she was with an by then. But she six, was already married. Weeks, you was five years six in, weeks dude. After giving Four years birth, in. She gone on a cruise. It wasn't six weeks. It was, was three it? months after giving birth. She I went on a cruise for a week. She needed to be alone with a t- a newborn and an eighteen year old with an attitude. Can I can I ask this? Sure. When I have a baby, did they tell me what I was going to do with an 18 year old and a baby? Like, I was. But that was your baby. That right? was it. Right. That was, that was for him. That was your baby. Because I didn't I have to have any so kids. Obviously there was no I already knew what it was to be a mom. There was no concern for her about me being around a newborn. Because that was your baby. It was going to be my baby if I don't have any kids. But Solomon, no, what we're saying, if you come in and you don't have no children at all. You, I didn't have any children. Right. But listen, you have, you done raised a couple of them. You done, you done, uh, <laughs> Let, let, let me tell you this. I was in a relationship. I was in a relationship with a guy. My son's father. He had two girls. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
we went into that relationship. It was preteens. Horrible. Yeah, horrible experience, I'm sure. Horrible. Mm-hmm. Them girls took me through hell. Number one. Hell. So you knew. I'm like, dang, I got two of these. I got my own. And For then I me, got you. It was my And I got me. So you got all these females with attitudes. Mm. Menstrual cycles, all type of stuff going yeah. on, right? Yeah. Hold and on. then you got him. Yeah. And he just didn't then like. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but then I had to think about it. You know why he wanted to be with me? Because I had a kid, mm-hmm. a female. And you know what to do. And I knew what to do, mm-hmm. somewhat. I'm not all the way. I don't know everything. But he wanted, he was looking for somebody to take care of them girls. To help him. So for me, it wasn't that. It wasn't like I was out, like most of the guys I dated didn't have kids or whatever. So, and my daughter was younger at the was time when I was dating. No, it wasn't. It was, I just never wanted to date nobody that had more kids than me. Oh, okay. So if I had one, if you had two, it needed to be from the same lady because I didn't want to deal with two different people. Mm-hmm. So that, because you was only dealing with one person dealing with me, you know? So that was always my mindset. And it was just, it happened to fall like that or whatever the case may be. But my thing was like when Solomon, he's the only child. He doesn't really be around a bunch of little children. So you had to build up that way of how to get used to being a, like the noise. Children can be hanging from the chandelier for parents that have kids. You don't hear nothing. You just be like, oh, okay, the conversation continues. But people who don't, they be like, you don't hear that? Like they ain't make, like that ain't on your nerves. That nah, normal. that's normal to us. That's normal to us. So we know how those, that. right. That noise is, is normal to us. Solomon would come around and you hear all this stuff and you can see his eyes just move around the room like, what in the world is this? But he, mind you, he comes from a big family. Mm-hmm. He just happens to be the loner. Like, he's to himself. He's an only child. So he's not used to all of that stuff. In my house, and when we grew up, it was like, you talk, I'm talking, it's whoever the loud is going to get hurt. And that's how it just functioned. It was fine. But with him not having a kid, that was always my thing. Like, I needed to see how he was going to be with my daughter. Like, I knew he had experience because he had, you know, he was a daddy before. But, you know, how that go. So, it was, it was just. How that go? <laughs> Y'all know how the they, daddy they be when the relationships be ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, for me, it was more so. I had never, I didn't have any, like, like horrible relationships where I ended with people. So, people who I dated when I had my daughter, they were still like, hey, how's she doing? They would check on her. She had her own phone at that point. Like, call her. Check her phone. Here's her phone number. They didn't have to check in with me, per se. If they were still checking in. And, and even up until, you know, like, when me and Solomon got together, I had to say, look, I got a whole man out here now. You, y'all, hey, govern yourselves accordingly. Mm, oh, like, that's, that's, that's and it was just. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just yeah. that kind of thing. Show the games when yeah. I ain't there. <laughs> What? Solomon, he, he yeah, no, first hey, off, Solomon right. Ryan. I'm at every basketball game, right? The one game you the one game late. I gotta work late. Yeah. Oh, such and such can't. Oh, oh, oh just oh, just coincidence, oh, right? Coincidence, yeah. yeah. So he think I was up here texting, talking about some. Come that's on, he here now. I wasn't scared of Solomon. My thing was, I always want to be very transparent with my mate in a way that I don't never want you to be in a situation if you know I, uh, I used to date that person. I don't want him sitting over there next to you and you don't know that and he know that feel yeah, like he yeah. got the upper hand. Yeah, so true. I would never do that in that way. It just happened that time he had told my daughter he was coming to that game and she told me, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, Solomon, so-and-so at this game. This going to look crazy. Oh, oh the right. game, I ain't here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but he had to work like because he was, yeah. you know, running businesses, You that happens. But it is what it is. But I just always wanted to, like, be with somebody who had some type of knowledge of what what it's like to be around kids. I just didn't want, it, want you to be so a virgin like, around kids even, because even, that's even tough. Even as far as... Uh, for me, it was, like, it kind of sort of for me it was. Yeah, well, it I mean, was. Because I don't want to have to teach you how to be around a kid. Let me ask this. So, like, and, and okay, as a single person who's never been married, has no kids, and the only kind of, like, child experience I've ever had was my niece... And that was years ago. I mean, I, in in the back of my mind, it always feels like there's that prerequisite of you. That may not be for every woman. Yeah, for me, I wanted like you to feel time. like you had to be. So Solomon had been a football coach, so you you used to be around kids. So that means I know you like him at least. They like you me, know, even though apparently. you want your own, you <laughs> gotta show me something. Vibe, so. Right. Yeah. So you have a father fit because you have to be in some it, type of format, like a, a dad to those kids in a and way. It also is called maturity. Yeah. yeah. So I've always found that weird this, though. At, at your age, um, we know you're in a relationship and what have you, but before you got into this relationship, um, had you determined that you have your daughter, you have your son, were you open to having more kids? I'm always open to have more kids. Okay, so really? going into the relationship, you want to be a surrogate or something? I'm like, yo, 
you just open to it, like. Why, you need a stereo? Nah. nah. <laughs> what? Nah. Look, Solomon, thank you, man. Like, Solomon wants another kid, but for me, like I explained to him, birth on women's body, I don't think men understand the toll that it takes. So it takes for a lot me, of toll. My second son yeah, was horrible. Yeah. It was it was tough. So my first, like, I have big, I naturally have big kids. So for me, and I, I have don't. a small pelvis, so my kids are huge, and, and they just, it's, like, I have an eight I'm pound. Blessed. The first kid I had was eight. <laughs> The first kid I had was almost the size of a three-month-old. So the second kid who comes along, I developed preeclampsia at this point, so they don't know what's going on. And so I told him, I explained explained it to him that I felt like I was dying and people were watching. You can't, because they don't know how to monitor that because it's blood pressure issues, it's everything. And even the doctors are, are running around and trying to figure out what's going on with you. They don't know. So my thing was, I can't, I was like, oh gosh, just don't let me die here. I want to be able to raise my own children. And that took a toll on me because after they took her out, I was like, they took Solomon and rushed him out the room. He didn't know I was still bleeding internally. And they were trying to pack the um, pack my uterus to stop it from bleeding, like breathing out those things to happen, or my cervix from bleeding out. My cervix kept bleeding. And so they were packing it and stuff. And so they just put your body back in together. So however your body meant, it's all tilted in the inside. You don't know that that's that process. I, if I had another kid at this point, because I naturally have big babies, so she's born, let's say, at 36 weeks. 40 weeks is full term. Mm-hmm. She still had four more weeks. She was 7'16". Like, who, I mean, seven, yeah, she was 7'16". She was almost an eight-pound, I mean, an eight-pound baby, and you four weeks early. So just think if she would have stayed for them other, she yeah, would have been 10, 10, get, 10 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Get, get she would have been too big. So I still would have had a C-section. So my fear is always that I'm, I had naturally had big babies because after those two, you not, that's a How seven something. Five, nine. And I'm five, seven. So it's, it's just, it, it's sucks. just odd that I had. A, so my first kid, daddy, probably the same height as <laughs> me, but she was just big. How tall are you? Oh, that's what you're going to do. That's what we're doing. So, but going back to before before Shannon was talking, you know, about the pregnancies and what have you, you stating that you were open to have more kids into the relationship. Was there a prerequisite as to if I have a kid from this guy, he has to have a kid? Or would you be no, willing I to actually, have someone with no kids? It actually wasn't brought up to me. Mm-hmm. It was brought up from him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. I've, I've probably asked him time and time again, like, at the beginning, like, you really want more kids? He's like, yeah. And then I was answering, why you want to be with me? He's like, well, first you were open to have more kids. <laughs> so so that was his prerequisite, almost, in a sense. Right. So like, and then I never asked about being married, because I don't. You know? I have, so you don't care I to have be- bad experience with men. So, so but, that's why I don't. So that's what I'm asking. So, like, my question is, so you wouldn't care to be married again, but you would have another baby? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. No, nah, I, I ain't on that boat. On that boat, Tiffany. You can leave me at the dock because that one I ain't. I can't. I, I'm not rocking. And I'm gonna tell you. And I'm gonna tell you. What, <laughs> I think it's more with me if I'm scared to get married. But you're not scared Man, to have a baby right. and have get? to deal with the the individuals themselves and, and the process. Because I feel like I'm gonna deal with more drama being but married. You can't, you can't handcuff your current situation based on your past experiences. Right. Mm. Yeah, but I am, I'm being that. handcuffed. How's that? How's that? How's that? But you're going to handcuff yourself if you're I'm, allowing I'm being, them to I'm, be just, if you're going to just be the baby mama and they can just be free to just run off and be like, okay, well, I'll be a daddy when well, I want I'm to. Well, I'm being handcuffed. I'm, I'm in a relationship that uh, I didn't know that they never wanted a relationship from the beginning. Mm. Well, you right should have been on here with the therapist, with yeah. Selena, no, because she could have evaluated this. I but, mean, I'm just saying. It's, it's, but it's did like you ever require him. that uh, require that of him? Did y'all have those type of conversations? I think he knew I was looking for a relationship. So you assume. But I never was looking for um, to be married. Right. So, I mean, and if you want a life partner, that's cool. If that works, that works. But if you're not having that conversation, you're assuming that he knows that. And that's what we were saying about you got to say that same expectation. Like, you treat, you teach people how to treat you. I've been, I've been married one time. Am I afraid to do it again? Maybe just a little bit. Mm-hmm. But because... One because I was like twenty two years old, and if you're 20, but you ain't know nothing about life. If you're twenty anything, yeah. you should be married. And then I was twenty one. You know, I'm in the navy, so 
There's nothing more. That's a rock star lifestyle. You right. Oh, you man. I was in the army. You in and you out. You know what I mean? So, and then you see people. And, and my spiel used to always be, hey, I'm married. But if you choose to fuck with that, then. <laughs> I'm game. You, you know, I'm down. And that's yeah. funny because the last, the would. last military guy I dated, I was yeah. been here for over a decade. Mm-hmm. Same thing. He was married the whole time. See, Tiffany, man, you be letting them put <laughs> <your> miles <laughs> on you, man. Your property value so, is going down. You was letting them build look, tents. This is. I'm gonna tell you what, what's look, going me, on. I'm gonna tell you why I didn't even realize that he was married. Mm-hmm. Shoot. He bought my condo for me, my mm. cars, paid half my rent. Oh, okay, I'm was taking care enough. of my daughter. I've been a good side babe, too. Mm-hmm. I think I've probably been a good side babe. I, I mean, me. it was a lot of stuff done that was like, hey, we in a relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, why I ain't never been in this nigga house? But how long did it take you to realize that? Oh, I had the perfect alibi for his that. His wife called Yo, me. I live on the ship. But shit. how long did it take you to realize you had never been to his house? Oh, that only took me six months. <laughs> six oh, months? Six months. Boy, Solomon laughing in his head because he know I was on him like white on rice. You're going to have to I mean, sip through this. Put me in some yeah. water and shake it off. So, so, yeah. I need to understand what's going on. on. See, how old was I then? <laughs> what? I was Where 23 then. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, 20, 20 anything. Young. You don't know no I'm better. still young. I'm still dumb. He taking care of me to the fullest. Mm. Like, you might as well so have So you were just there. living it. You know, he was in my house every day. Mm. Every day, it's like okay. So babe, he what was you both of y'all do? man. I'm cooking. He cooking. I'm doing laundry. He sometimes did laundry. I dropped the stuff out the cleaners. Picked the stuff off of the cleaners. <laughs> I mean, it was like a whole full marriage. Oh man, he was good. Nah, he, he was, was loving. Good. Yeah, he was good. And, and she he wasn't doing. He made but, a lot I mean, doing bad for he herself at 23. Bad. Like, come on, 23. That was a straight come on. But when I found out, that was the time I drove to his house. Mm. And I seen the lady come out the house. You want another kicker? It wasn't his wife. Ooh. Oh, wow. It was his baby Dude. mama. Dude, that gang. Wow. And yeah, I would. Yeah. I need to see a picture of him because I need to see what he looking like. Is he out here looking like, like uh, eBay off of like? When we done, time? I'll let you Google. Him. He's on. He's all over Google. <laughs> we good on that. So. Well, while we Google, old boy, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take a break. <laughs> Joining us today is Tiffany Davis, Robert Thomas. I am Solomon Perfect Davis segue. with Shannon Davis. We'll be right back with his, hers, and ours. Oh, 
such thing as coincidence You're not sticking to the service Satisfied with what you give it Turn around. Baby, I'm in love with you. With you. And I promise that I always will be there for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. No need to worry about nothing, no. Oh, yeah. You can count on me, that's for sure. Oh, baby. I've been running, running all the time. All the time. And I've been searching, searching till I. Way to show you how I need you now. You know I need you now. I've been running, running out of time. I've been searching, searching till I find the perfect way to show you. And we are back. Slippery slip. August 28, 2021 in Flow Ohio Studios. You are listening to His, Hers, and Ours. 
with Solomon Davis and the lady over there shaking her head. We were here with <laughs> guests Rob Thomas and Tiffany Davis. Yeah, yeah. Because I just spooked her out. No, like, <laughs> like, like, you know, like, he giving me these dates on here, like, since when? But anywho, yeah, yeah, yeah. get back, back with me. You want to bring that up or you just want to roll on to your next episode? Well, no, it'll, it'll, kinda, it'll come back. It'll come back up anyway. Yeah, let me but know. I, like, I want to be a little, <laughs> let's, one of your topics, but let's right. be a little lighthearted in introducing yeah. it. So, uh, Serge. Yeah. Back in the day, watching the NBA playoffs. Okay. Boston beating Cleveland. LeBron taking the jersey off. Oh, Cleveland, Cleveland. Oh, okay. no. Don't, uh, don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. Who yes. you see in the fans? Yes, sir. What? Who you see in the fans? All the shots of Ray Allen's mom. Remember that? <laughs> I don't remember that. Y'all I wasn't paying attention to it. Man, I fell in love with Ray Allen's mom back in the He's day. So I missed that. Ray and Allen going to come bust you outside and she, she kind of she, she yeah. ushered in the era of player's mom being seen yeah. on oh, TV. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. LeBron mama too. LeBron's mm. mom, Gloria, was out Gloria. there. Gloria. Nah, I wasn't on Gloria. 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 Hey, shout out to Lante. Hey. Hey. Gloria, Gloria, are we talking about the, uh, the, the yeah, Gloria. Wait, yeah, can you, so, you let it? Yeah, it ain't so Aisha. So the, the one the who um, who kind of took the throne when her son started winning back-to-back championships, spanking Cleveland in the head, you know, with Seth. I saw, with excuse Sonya. me, Steph Curry. Oh, Sonya. Oh, with his, uh, go. his gorgeous mom, Sonya. Oh, man. His NBA dad, And his parents just get a divorce. Well, they are going we, through yeah, a divorce. They get it, they, so uh, this Man. is what started to spark it. In June, she filed a separation. Somebody pull her up for me. And, ain't nobody need to pull up for you. You hey, know what she said, like. Hey, if, if Sonya Curry is on the market. <laughs> I'm going. Santa, we might have to. <laughs> we might have to we what? Might have, I mean, <laughs> Sonya Curry. You better, oh, get, your, you better get your bank oh. roll up. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I'm all for the decent proposal. Tell her rent doing her first. Like, I got <laughs> some stuff I need to take care of. You, if she's sugar mama and this <laughs> stuff. So, so anyway. Shannon brought it to my attention after I said, you know, it's 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 funny that Steph's younger brother, Seth, was mm-hmm. playing with Philadelphia and they were in the playoffs and you never saw the parents. I was mm-hmm. like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, you know, their daughter is pregnant, so she's probably back, you know, in California on the West Coast with their daughter. Well, the daughter was struggling. Like, she was has been taping her for the last few years, but she recently in the last year has been capturing, like, th- like doing her own YouTube, like putting more on her YouTube, her content. Um, because she was struggling with infertility. It's something that, you know, women okay. struggle with. And it's not in the black community, we don't talk about it a lot. But nonetheless, the it mom had been had been behind the scenes helping her. His mother her husband's mom has been helping. Like she had a village. Aisha mm-hmm. was doing it, like giving her shots and she just had all these di- multiple failed attempts. So she had been in California a lot. So fast forward, we tr- we we come to the the news that breaks that Seth and Sonya excuse me, Dell and Sonya went through a separation. And are now filing for a divorce. Mm. And Dell is now stating that Sonya has been living with this gentleman in Tennessee. They both accuse oh, each other of cheating. For like the last oh, six to eight months. Wow. Dude so, that uh, used wow. to be an ex football player. Mm. So she's played she, with the New she England dating Patriots. Up. She's still dating oh, up. She's shit. still a, mm. she's dating Bank Rose. Who it is? He was a he was Steven a nobody. Johnson, Steve Johnson, somebody. Steve Johnson. Yeah, he was back in the day. This he, he was he was with the Patriots before. Well, he's a prominent businessman, so I don't care about his football career. But off the field, he is successful business wise. So her bag is still intact. Mm-hmm. However, um, <laughs> however, we um we got into the discussion of how do you like. So Solomon was like, yeah, I told you, you know, women be out here doing such and such. Women, and- hey, from the book of Solomon, <laughs> chapter 6, oh, verse 32. Go ahead, Doc. Oh, I got the Bible on my phone. <laughs> no, he said, this is Solomon. This ain't the Bible. It's bro, the book you, of Solomon. Know, Solomon, you need to write the book, brother. <laughs> women, bro, write the book. Women are capable of a far deeper cruelty than any man is capable of. But so, is it going to hurt the man? But time out. He, the hurt. reason why it hurt him, hurt the, the reason why it hurt him is because y'all mean to tell me this man been in the NBA 100 years. Around the NBA, let's say. Mm-hmm. They met in college. She was a volleyball player on scholarship there. And she's playing basketball. But yeah. She's okay. a beautiful lady. Hey, Don't man. get me wrong. I'm not yeah. mad at her. So nonetheless, you are y'all have been married for thirty three years and, and for me that hurts because y'all have waited till these kids are all fully grown. They in their thirties now. Like they're all grown and y'all y'all are no longer happy. Mm-hmm. They've so been doing it's it for probably the been, yeah, I think they've probably been doing it for face, you know, yeah. for a minute. And I think that relationship, they had already checked out. Nobody had taken no real moves. But 
And in the husband's allegations, oh, of course y'all gonna be the first one to hit dog on holler, gonna say, ah, oh, yeah, she over there living with a man. But Sonya said it's documented, and the children and family mothers know that he has had, he's been out of, outside their marriage, has had several infidelities outside their marriage during the marriage, you know, like has, you know, so it's been a known family secret is what she put in the document. Okay, so hold on, hold on. You, that's an oxymoron. Go ahead. A known secret. She put secret. it in that. It ain't me. She you said, can't have a known She said secret. a known family secret, okay, so, so within their family, they but do. it's a secret to the public. Okay, well, the public really doesn't matter. So it, it not, saying, it's not an oxymoron back, because the family knew. Going back to family, women are capable of a far deeper cruelty. And I say this. So when we do on, get listen, back, go ahead. It ain't about get back. Go ahead. If I've had several infidelities and you cannot take that and you feel that I need to go be with somebody else, then do it the appropriate way. Leave me and go be with that person. Well, why he ain't so do it the appropriate way? Why you leave me and go do Why it? you ain't do it? My that? infidelities might not be me wanting to be with that person. I might have just got caught up in the moment for that night. She probably did too, for but not night? somebody but like you, her. But now she's living with the dude? She so she, obviously she, time out, And she night. came back and said she's not living. So you know men, when y'all get y'all feelings hurt, y'all going to pull out the wig from like y'all gonna pull because out the braids so, but, from under our so wig she says so that's how you not true. so because he said it makes it true either, either crazy. Either so because he yeah, said it yeah. makes it true because she said it is it yeah yeah now, look you we don't know but my simple thing is when men get hurt y'all want the whole world to know i'll, I'll tell y'all why, why? why that is. but we 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 deal with infidelity and stuff in silence because in our small then silos you and choose silos. to you was, cheating said, at, you was cheating and silent too You know like that's how they was doing Alright but if you couldn't handle it and you were hurt Leave Don't but, feel like yeah I still want my relationship well, We are gonna be together you can't But be I, need, I need to go ahead and get him back for When us to me be and together. my son's father was together And he was doing all the cheating he did Because he cheated about three times right mm-hmm. I never told nobody All I told them was He was emotionally and mentally abusive to me That's it I oh, that say, was a oh, nice way to put it. I didn't it. say, oh, he Sipping was out in. here messing with all these women. He was doing this and the other. Because you know what they would have said to me? Why Ooh. the hell are you still no. there? Uh-uh. Because my family ain't like that. Oh, you so stupid. Mm. Yep. You go back to my first yeah. statement when I started mm. up. Yeah. Okay, but go ahead. Like, as you were. When you started? Like, when he started it. Why are you still with You should have been gone. But the because same people that but time out. Pregnant. But the same people right. that's saying mm. that have sat in their relationships and it's happened to them. There's not a woman on the face of this earth that's just walking and saying, I promise you he's never done anything. But if, is it wrong to not be married and your guy cheat on you and you've invested so much in him? Is it wrong to try to work it out? Nah. It's not wrong. Nobody can tell you what's right or wrong in that situation when it comes to you and your relationship. But if you're gonna ask my opinion, you're single until you say I do. I just thought it. Uh, you can you can be in re- you can be in a relationship. You saying that to you? Wait, I until didn't. you're in a relationship. Wait no, a minute. okay. I, I didn't. No, you can you can okay, be so. in a relationship and you can fight with that relationship. I'm not saying that you can or that you're wrong for it, but idealistically, when people fight for something, they're fighting for a marriage. I don't think there's a they, commitment. Not necessarily, they're fighting a, for their relationship. If he's stepping out, and I'm not trying to speak or de- speak for them or defend their actions and what ahead. have you, but if a person steps out, which you know I've done in the past in my what, relationship, we, but go ahead. It's in that moment. I'm I'm doing this because I'm looking and, for and happiness maybe myself. Maybe she is doing it for the moment too, no. but y'all can't take that. No. Why? Because women can have. I mean, it is, it is some women. Sex. Are you not a like, cheater? Stop doing that. Yeah, I've I've, I've done it a okay. bunch of times. So. Oh Lord. Uh, I had to let that out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you never cheated. You just the perfect guy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Seriously, I, I, I cheated. I, I, never been married. No kids. <laughs> You're just the perfect guy. But he's married. I think, it, video I think games, it was the way we were like, brought up. In a way, it means, well, no, I don't know about Serge, because, you know, he's... Don't put Serge, like, yeah. look at Serge. Like, we have the same parents. <laughs> yeah, I know, but what I'm saying, I, because I'm the oldest child, oh, I was probably brought up a little differently than, because, you know... Serge, they, you the baby. Really don't get it twisted. Y'all on different I'm the middle rules. child. You're okay, middle child, well, so... Yeah. Y'all definitely right, live Cole. on different you rules. you don't cheat? Huh? You don't cheat? Have I? Uh-huh. <laughs> look, don't put yes, my son. He's my... Have I? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah. 
But I don't. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Huh? Your I try not to. No, I'm not saying that. Yeah, no. He talking about, but, oh, he ain't handsome. That's no, what but, you the thing look, is, no. You are the perfect guy. I'm not trying to say that your looks make you look like you cheat. But uh, his you looks. Kind of suspect. His looks <laughs> make him look innocent. Yeah, of course, because <laughs> that's how he carries himself. Yeah, and then, like I said, I mean, it's just, uh, I think it's the influence of, like, t- shows and movies and just overall, w- when I've seen that stuff, like, you can't do that, that's wrong. And even, I got into points in the past where my friends kind of almost tried to coax me into cheating, and I'd be like, I can't do it, it's wrong. So in my but mind, nobody, it's wrong. Not me, so nobody should have to coach you. You, it, it, Nobody should be trying to coach you. It, it's just wrong. But I think man. differently. I am i don't co-sign being with one person, like I don't. I'm not but as long them. as you yeah, make yeah. that known to them, yeah, as long then as it's not a problem. That, yeah, you you gotta say that up front. front. You gotta say it up front and say this is what Y'all it is. Probably mad at y'all because I ain't got no huh? kids. <laughs> nah, that's what I'm saying. I the say youngest, the youngest one has. And if you with it, go go. Okay. It, that's cool. Right. If not, that's cool. I just him, wanted to tell you. Have a sister. No, it's a brother. Yes, all boys. Yeah, it's all boys. Oh wow. So the youngest one is one with the kid, but me and him, we never. had Never had kids. Okay, so oh, they, wow. got they got one grandkid. They got one grandkid. But like I said, <laughs> <They got> that, <laughs> like I said that to pressure me, it, 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 it's wrong. So I, I, was preg- like, I was pregnant in April, yeah. and my mom was mad. Wow. wow. Yeah, I was I was going to say, the reason why we uh, feel a way about when a woman cheat, because mm-hmm. nine times out of ten, for us, I saw her, and she looked like something I wanted to know about. Yeah. And that's where it stops. So why so it can't I, be for women? Once I get done, you know, I, I, if I know I cheated, I'm gonna tell y'all. So I don't know if you ever had this, but you, nah. well, you did. But the drive home is always in silence. Well, you know you did something wrong. Is it? It's Something always, be blasting. Uh, Something be no blasting. Wow. Like, oh, really? Something probably was yeah. dancing. In silence. In silence. In silence. Okay, so if you when got I know caught. I've done something wrong, <laughs> and, and I know I got something good at the house, but I just had so to Rob, see let's be real. Let's be real on this. Are you sad about it? Are you depressed about what I'd you did? I'd be like, damn, I shouldn't have did that. Are you yeah, depressed yeah, about it? Yeah, yeah. So but in the back of my mom, like. If she call, you know you had that conversation. Nigga, is if she call you back, are you gonna go back? And the question is, nine times out of ten, yeah, yeah, I, I want to see so one more time. Deco, no, your so, rule out no, the window so, about so, one so, time. So, you fine. Give so, a second chances. Tough. You mean to to a woman at you? <laughs> <or just for laughs> I love the facial expression. Wow. I, I want to know that. <laughs> so Bro, I'm gonna I'm I'm agree and disagree. You did it. Yeah, I did it, but I'm saying like a, a lot so of. So you giving yourself I'm, a second chance? Right. Cause so, she's gonna give you a second chance. Yeah. See, nine times out of ten, if I get caught. I've but had, that I've doesn't that the does not chance. that does not defeat my theory. What's your because theory? The theory was that if you give a person an opportunity to cheat one time and they never get caught. I want to see what that said. <laughs> <laughs> no, if they give if you give a person an opportunity to what cheat and they get and they don't get caught, <laughs> they'll, 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 they'll take it. <laughs> yeah. What I'm telling her is, anytime you, you give a person an opportunity to cheat, <laughs> mm-hmm. and, they, and you tell them they're not going to get caught, they're going to take it. Right. And so she's oh, like, well, it's not just one time. I'm like, no, it's not going to be more than one time because you have to de- determine what's more important to you at that point in time, right. what you want now or what you want long term. So, now, that, l- that ride home that you talk about, yeah. was it in silence for yeah. me? Uh, several times, yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Dang. There were a lot of times where it where wasn't yeah, because yeah, yeah, of, I really didn't care if I got caught or not. So I would, there, there was a lot of times. I would like, like that to too. ask Me. all of you guys that have, you know, done your part of infidelity. Yes, except for um, Alfie. Except for the perfect guy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like you, honestly. <laughs> when you have a woman at home, mm-hmm. and um. Since I'm little Shannon, this is <laughs> light skin Shannon. <laughs> She's light skin, but she got some tendencies that belong to the light skin side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, if you um, have a woman at home mm-hmm. that is strong, ambitious, motivated mm-hmm. about her shit, take care of her kids, take care of the other kids, take care of you, take care of you, amen. Do everything right. Even got parts of her that nobody else knows, but she puts it out there so you would know. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying that as far as the sexuality piece. Right. Okay. You got all this at home. Mm-hmm. All right. I actually got called a plus plus the other day by a friend of mine. 
And you still. We got all that shit at home. And you still decide to tip out. What the hell are you stepping out for? Who going to give you all of that? The person you stepping out with, but it's the, what are they giving you? Because it's, it's different. It's That's all it is. What's That's, different? That's all it is. It's What's different? different? <laughs> no, matter, no matter what you do, that person might be doing but something just specifically it's different. What's different energy, different vibe. Yeah. Yeah. You know but what, what kind saying? of vibe? Vanilla, All kind. Any type of vibe. Any type of vibe. I, I so why is it okay for y'all to because catch you that can't, vibe you can't and women all, cannot catch a ain't vibe? Ain't nobody saying you can't, but if you're yeah. asking for a reason why, right. you can't, you're never going to be is, all things. Okay. But this is man. a man's thing because, for example, right, Amber Rose thing. just had an issue about she broke up with her baby daddy oh, publicly. Yeah, y'all that. heard all of that stuff and she was saying how she went through his DMs and it was like several different women. And then he was... I wish you could pull that up. Time out. Pause. But then anyway, not then the, then but, her no, the, then the child. Wait a saying, minute. If you go, if you gonna looking for something, you gonna find 95, 95, But why five, should we? Nine, five, my thing nine, is when I go looking for something, I should not find but that. I, my question I should is, not be finding that. Mess. What is it that that other That's person a problem. has? Because if you, you go looking through hers, you're not expecting to find any of that. You're not expecting to find any of that. As a male, you may find something you don't like. We are taught from knee high to a grasshopper. Nah, man. You always want more. But what is the more? You don't know what it is. If she's willing searching. to give you that more, you're always searching. Why is hey, it? Why is I, it? I, I just want to know what the more is. I want to. I want to. Uh, okay, at, at this point in my life, what you explain for me would be the end all be all. At but why point, do it take y'all to get to forty? Not, not, not Why is that? Because that's when most because, of them been around. Hold on, hold on. 40. Hold on. You say, why, does, hold on. You say, why 40, does it take us 40. getting to 40 so, to understand that? Wait, it yeah. takes y'all so, to your mid-30s to be able to provide that. You're not yeah. providing that right out the gate. Down. Some of them are. Were you providing at, that at 21? At, at, at 21, I wasn't even trying to be nobody's girlfriend. Exactly. I told you. But I knew, I knew that up front. So I was okay with being Were you trying to provide it at 30? At 30, no. nah, nah, exactly. not really. Because I wasn't ready. I knew when okay, I was so ready. Then the next question is, when do y'all grow up? Well, for me, the, the light kind of came on. Sure, I'm going to tell y'all. 35? Yeah. About 35. Okay. 35, I realized a couple things that my dad no, said to me was. How do, what, 42. Nah. <laughs> you there right now. That's what you say. Exactly. That's, That's messed up. Y'all know y'all about BFMs now, right? Now I'm just going to let you know. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, hey, listen. If, if, I wasn't a, if, I was, if I hadn't attained grown man status, you never would have married me. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Nah, but the thing is, like you, you as men, we realized something. Something that my dad would say was, "Ain't nothing new under the sun." For a long time, I ain't know what that meant, mm-hmm. right? But then, thirty-five for some reason, it just clicked. Like, okay, uh, one of the things my my dad always just say, I don't know if we could get graphic on here, Go but ahead. he'll be like, we- uh, "I done been with a lot of different women, but all the nuts I bust been the same." Gotcha. <laughs> Some that's, of them. Oh, that's balls. loaded. That is loaded. Oh. Okay. And, and, I, loaded. and I'm balls. looking at him like, what? He said, balls. let me explain that to you. He said, Some of them caught no, me not. off guard more than others, mm-hmm. but they all been the same. Right. Say, so ain't nothing been different from the nuts I bought. Gotcha. He said, Just the women caught me off guard. Okay. So I was like, I Still looking puzzled because I was only 28 when he shared that gotcha. with me. But it's like, oh, shit. But when I hit 35, I understood older, that. From an older man's perspective. Right. So back to my story with Amber Rose, her guy was doing all this stuff. So he went on to an interview on like this Say Cheese or whatever the cat, whatever it was. I don't want to misquote it. Mm-hmm. But when the man said, well, why were you I'm doing this? It. You don't have to. <laughs> don't have to. <laughs> Go ahead and fight. He was like, why, why, you know, why did you do this? He was like, man, I don't want to keep hurting her, so I'm okay with us breaking up now. I don't want to keep hurting her. So then the guy said, well, why won't you just have an open relationship? He said, no, I'm, I'm not comfortable with the fact that she may say, yo, I'm going to hang out with so-and-so. You watch the baby. Yeah, we ain't. So, like I said, if she's willing to be, if she's willing to say, okay, we can do that and be upfront about it, why does that still hurt a guy? Like, why are they still in their feelings about it? You were doing it in silence, but she's giving, like, you're giving an opportunity to say, okay, let's do it up front. A lot of times we just, I hate to say this, like, as men, we selfish. They're real a selfish. A lot of double standard. Mm-hmm. It's a double, yeah. it is definitely it is a double standard. standard. We, the, the thing is, I don't Because the know. same way that you are saying that, you can see a woman and say, oh, I want that. A woman you know, can see a man and be like, I want that. Up. And that's all she wants. <laughs> I, 
See, I understand it because pride don't get you nowhere. We're fucked up too. I understand it because you're my wife, right? And you have a different mindset or way of thinking than most females do, which is what I love about you. You're the one who's opened me up to the fact that there are women out there, especially these days in this modern era, who do we got some music to play behind? Go ahead and give me my flowers. Give me my flowers. Go ahead and give me my flowers. I see you. No, women. We've always (laughs) (laughs) we've always attached the fact that women um, have sex with men. There has to be an emotional attachment. It does. And your co-host on your show has said the same thing to you that there's not necessarily an emotional attachment. No, what I'm saying is it's more prevalent now that females can have sex without having emotional attachments. But men do have emotional attachments to women. There can be, yes. No, yeah, you can. There's yeah. never, there's never a possibility that we're not, ha- we're having sex and there's no emotional attachment. So you can't just go and fuck somebody. You can, you can. but yeah. if anybody so can, yeah. listen but to over time, time yeah. over time, because it's just something to do. Honestly, honestly, yeah. But why would you do it? Because it's something to do. Yeah, it's there. It's available. It feels good. It's hey. just there. Okay, that's it's the number one. It feels good. Right? It feels good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just let y'all know because oh, y'all don't know me. I got five brothers, right? I had a conversation with my brother earlier. I asked him, has he ever went through any of his girlfriend's phones or whatever? He's like, hell yeah, I went through their phone. I said, did you find anything? I was like, yeah, I found this girl texting this dude or whatever. And um, I said, did you say something to her? He's like, yeah. I said something to her. I said, well, what was her response? He's like, well, you know, you went through my phone, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. You found out. They still talked after that. There was not even an argument. Because maybe what he found was he was at his threshold. Like, it wasn't at his threshold. So, for some men seeing the fact that, oh, she just, the fact she out here doing the same thing I'm doing is going to kill him. No, no, no. no, I can tell you. No. I'm a, this no, was I'm going to give you I a believe you got the answer. Go ahead, because I got the, the same this answer. This was the girl that he was going to be with. Mm. All right. So, he was trying to get away from his host stage, and he wanted to be with her. Mm. So... One night, he just, the phone was, he said the Because he wanted to make sure he was making a, a, a leap he was making, with he was making anyone making right the leap. Yeah, that's so probably what So, while, while they still, why they still talk afterwards was the fact that when he stepped to her with that information, she didn't deny it. She was upfront and honest. She didn't argue with him about it. He was like, well, hell, if this is what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do. Hmm. And it basically became a mutual agreement. Is that what agreement. you were going to say, Rob? Go oh, ahead. And I, I, was say, I was going to say something like Okay, let's to the say, fact. um... She didn't blame him saying, well, you I'm were doing it, so I'm doing it. I'm going to talk to him. So, right, wait, wait, <laughs> wait to let Rob respond to I, your first I, question. I was going to say one of the reasons why he, he might not have reacted to it is because he got some skeletons in his closet. In his mm-hmm. closet. Mm-hmm. So, so what sense do it make for me to bring my skeleton to the to the table? If and I just found right out now. yours. We zero zero now. So, I so it because his threshold. Right. like it wasn't. So because I know my brother and I know how he is when he wants to be with somebody and when he just want to be a hoe, mm-hmm. right? I know my brother. He cared so about her. He cared about her. Cared. So he ain't with her no more. So he ain't with her no more. Bought her engagement ring and everything. Ooh. And found out that before giving her the engagement ring. Even popped up at his house one night and watched her walk out the door and get in a car with him. Mm. Okay. Not with my brother. With, with the, the dude. Guy. With the dude. Oh. But I'm trying to still figure out why he was so mad if he was doing the same thing. He wasn't. He wasn't doing he, the same not, thing. He had so, so he was leaving. He was leaving the game because that Good. was Got that okay. was the person that he was like, man, she I want to be everything. with her. Yeah. Cause he he but had, maybe she he maybe so she look, wasn't saying the same thing. That him. was the second woman he wanted to be with. So right? here's a perfect example for that. You've heard me talk about it all the time. My first marriage, from day one to the day we got a divorce, I was cheating. Mm. I can't say that there was. What did a, she do to you? What did she do? Every time she found out, she kept taking me back. She kept taking me back. Yeah, she kept she, taking me back. Yeah. Mm. And, I mean, we're talking about 10, 12-year time span. But and do, it was, they were young. young. They were young. Yes. They were young, too. So think about 20s, like so, your early 20s. Okay, <laughs> at the tail end, what led to the divorce is I found her cheating on me. And I, I stated this on several occasions. When I caught her... It took me a couple days, but I had a conversation with her. I said, listen, I need an explanation. 
if you were fucking this dude just to get back at me and it was just sex, we can work through this and move forward. But if there are feelings and you're in love with him, I can't deal with that. I'm out the door. So you need to tell me, was it just sex? Were y'all just fucking? Or do you have feelings for him? And the second she said, I love him, next day I that filed for a divorce. Yeah. Well, I understand because we you can't, can't compete can't with the, feelings. Yeah, we you can't, can't we compete can't, with yeah. I can't, yeah, so I wouldn't compete with that. Basically, in what he's, win. in your brother's situation, you know, he kind of was quiet on the whole situation because he's thinking, you know, damn, they just fucking, you know, if she accepted me through all my infidelities, then, you know, I can give her this pass. He did, because I didn't say he was perfect at the beginning. Exactly. Right. But she I accepted all of that. But... She knew. But they weren't communicating, obviously, because if... But she knew that he wasn't perfect at the beginning. Right. So it took him a minute to stop. But maybe she had reached her point. Of she was tired of just trying to wait and right. figure out. But he also, he also realized that he was too old to be doing the stupid shit he was doing. And right. at some point in life, he was going to have to settle down But it's down all going to boil down to so once he started what type of conversations were her. they starting to have? Were they talking about it? Because I'm sure if she would have known that this was up, she probably would have kind of They talked about it and go. everything else. Okay. You know? And that's what, that's what kind of upsets me. So now he don't want to get married. Period. Okay. I mean, he, so he, he had or just her. Oh, anybody. We ain't and and that's okay. okay. It, but as long as you... My thing is I never have a problem with people doing whatever they want to as long as you're communicating with that other person. And as long as that communication is there, I have no problem with that. Does, does marriage... Uh, does marriage change the way you look at certain things? No. Anyway? Yes. Yes, it does. To no, me, it don't. It, it, wouldn't change, it wouldn't change the way you look at it. The way me, I yeah. look at it, but that way that man does, no. But when you first got married, you got married young, and, and y'all really we never lived experience together. a marriage, basically. Yeah, we never experienced a marriage. So, so, so how can you miss what you really don't, never had? Yeah. How can I miss it? Yeah, yeah. you never truly experienced like, it. Like, how can you say, I don't want to do something I've never, never really, really done? Experienced. Because yeah. the man that I was with, mm-hmm. having his first son, and we lived together... Mm-hmm. And him and him telling me that I was the one. But you never required that of him. I didn't. I don't require so, nobody. Right. So but him telling me that I was the one, he was like, man, I think I can marry you one day. Right? Yeah. But then him stepping out and him doing all that crazy shit, like, you don't Well, he had no obligation me. to you at the end of the day, technically, because y'all was just together. There's no, there was no accountability there. But don't tell me. Mm. We're going to tell you whatever we do think you want to hear to get right. what we want. Yeah, that's true. Stop lying. It might that not be a lie. Yeah. It, don't, it don't be, like a lot of time when we say stuff, we really believe what we're saying. But we I, really I do believe what we're saying. This is one rule, and I say it a oh, thousand times on here. You can listen to it all the time. Teach people how to treat you. Mm. Because if you don't give them any type of accountability, there is no accountability there. They're going to do whatever they want to because really there's no obligation because we just a girlfriend and boyfriend have, or we just sleeping together. When I have treated you like I want to be treated and you still ignore it. But then that's your sign. That's your signal. Like if you, if they're not if they're not giving you the treatment that you feel like you're you're dishing out, like you all, you teach your kid that treat people how they treat you. I don't never let my kid be like, okay, you be so nice and they be so nasty and continue to be nice. Nah, mm-hmm. baby, uh-uh. Treat them how they treat you. Mm-hmm. And that's that's where I'm at. I tell my little kid, my baby that. I tell my adult kid that. You have to treat treat people how they treat you. So if so they're she, not giving you that. I don't even have the bone in my body to treat somebody that way? That's on you. Why are you still messing with that person that is not giving you the treatment you feel you that you fairly deserve? deserve? The type of person that I am, first of all, I just gave myself my two bad traits. I love too hard. Mm-hmm. I'm very nurturing. You know, and I give my all in a relationship. Those are my bad traits. No, that, that, that ain't bad. No. It's bad for the wrong people the wrong that person. you're getting. Yeah. yeah. you just giving it to In the, the wrong possession person. of the mm-hmm. wrong people, those can be used against you. Yeah. But if right. given to the right person, they can make for a beautiful relationship. Right. But at this point in life, Damn, I'm, I'm 40, about to be 40 years Whatever. old. Whatever. <laughs> I really don't think good. I'm ever going to be hey, able to you sound give those good. traits, my bad traits, to anybody that give a damn. Mm. So, so now you messed up because of those. Prior so you're jaded. I am messed up with her prior. And you know what I do try to do? Mm-hmm. Every relationship that I have gone through, what I do is I block out the previous relationships that don't fuck me over. What's and I try to you make share? that relationship different than what my past relationships have done to me. 
Mm-hmm. But then, damn. But what are you? You're doing something that's giving the, these people the same tools each time. So what am when I, doing? I so listen, when you said to me how you fall in love and you get into these love phases, and I think you just you put on them rose colored glasses and them red flags be looking gray. And that's just me being honest with you. I just feel like the, the red flags are being gray because you're saying what you want, what you desire, but sometimes you'll put that other person's wants before your own needs. So where you're needing that stability and that stability in that relationship because they want a kid, you're like, okay, I'm open to have a kid, so let me go ahead and have this kid. Not understanding the, the, whole, the whole realm that you're putting this kid in because – if you have that kid, like, to me, I know the difference between a kid that's, like, I can see the difference in my children with the kid that wasn't raised with her dad versus the one that has that balance where the dad was in the house. There is a different level of hands on that. You have a team, a network, and it looks different. Well, guess what? I just went through my second pregnancy hmm. and an abortion. I can no longer have children. Wow. That hurt. That's not. I mean, look. Damn. It could be. It could be so much worse. And this is the first time I said it open. And it sounds different coming out. It feels different coming out, like hearing it out loud. And nobody knows. Well, but everybody's man. watching this, and all y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's just take it in this. Take it in this note. You know what it is to be a mom. You know the work and the effort that it has to go into it. You have to have a partner that's desire that that's deserving of that space. So maybe it's a never. I agree. Nobody can speak to that. Not even medical doctors, because you know things happen on miracles. But you you need a partner that's deserving of that. So if that means you're not being able to give this person a kid because they're not able to be who you need as a mate, then okay, so be it. It, that it, may it's come just it's heartbreaking because you know you know people that you know want uh, more kids. It's but it's like how do you tell them that you can't have any more? You tell them the same way because that's about communication. A person, if they, if and this they, is me. Well, so do you feel like a sneaking so and having that, two side and all other stuff? So, you know? so do you feel like a kid solidifies a relationship for you? No, I don't feel like a kid solidifies so did, a relationship. I think that okay. So the reason I wanted to have another kid is my son is four. He's about to be five. You better get and, in some playmates. And my dang on kids are fourteen years apart that I have. Now. I got an eighteen year gap. I didn't want the five year old because it'll be five na- soon. I didn't want him to grow up like my daughter did. The only child. Mm-hmm. We got two only children up in our space. When they come over, they they together. They love each other. They fighting hard for each other. I got a toddler well, who will tell me, don't talk to, to her sister like that. Mm-hmm. Like that. <laughs> Apologize <laughs> to her sister. <laughs> so it's, they can have that relationship. However, yeah. you just have to be, get them with friends and be able to help them fill that void. But I'm never going to justify, like, me not, if I never be able to have another kid, I'm not just if I'm basing that off of my relationship with Solomon because a kid never solidified what we had in the first place. Even, and, and I'm, and I'm going to be me, honest, I, I, I have met a lot me. of people in I Tampa since I've lived here. I know a lot, I actually know a lot of people. <laughs> uh, it's actually surprising how many people I know. Well, while I'm, um, I'm going to need to have you, you know, Like, it's surprising okay, that I met <laughs> Shannon. Right, exactly. And, you know, she know people that I know. Um... <laughs> I can actually say out of all the people I've met in Tampa, y'all the only ones I trust. Wow. Mm. That says a lot. So with that, we need to go. Yeah, we need to go to the break. Let's go to go to this final <laughs> break. On that. Yes. <laughs> Hold on to that final break. Nah, I appreciate that. Mm.
way back yesterday Holding hands, making plans We were inseparable Don't know what happened Something just ain't clicking Cause I don't have a choice but to fall I won't wait There's plenty of time to Run around in circles for you Guess to me, I'll be thinking way too hard about our history. Oh, you ain't answer, you was gone, you a mystery. I should have never got involved with you. I set it off at you, I set it off at you. I barely talk to you. I never asked where we was going, we might get lost with you. I never let you pay for nothing when you offer to. I'll even make the reservation. Who's that calling you? Is that your new thing? That's your new thing. Tell me, are you into new things, into new things? Baby, it's a few things, it's a few things. Let me tell you, you still, you still, you still in the back of my mind. The back of my mind. I'm still the greatest of all time. Always gotta try to hold back this energy From jumping to conclusions I be looking stupid I, I make it hard for you You make it hard for me Oh, just the thought of you Almost got caught with you And still I won't admit that I would drop it off for you Still got some sh that's at my crib I drop it off for you I play the part for you That's if you want me to That's how we do things How we do things Oh, tell me, does your new thing does she do things for you? Oh, it's a few things, it's a few things that I want to say you still, you still, you still in the back of my mind, the back of my mind, I'm still the greatest of all time. Cost a dime and acting 
We are back for this week's final segment of His, Hers, and Ours, a real life couple holding real life conversations with real life friends. I'm your co-host Solomon Davis, as always with Shannon Royal Davis. We are joined today by the Church Sinatra, the ghetto philosopher, Mr. Rob. Deacon of the cha- Chairman of the Deacon Board, <laughs> Mr. Rob Thomas, the big boy president, baby. <laughs> And also Miss <laughs> Tiffany Davis, who just yes. dropped the line that I want to bring up in this last segment. Yeah. Please do. Let's and talk about Alfie Santana. Alfie Santana, the resident guest who's yes, always sir. here. Always present. Love it. I love you versus I'm in love with you. Mm. Mm. That's oh, deep. Is it mm. though? It is. Mm. I think it's, it, it requires you to have a, a bit of clarity and kind of like a little self check. Because there, there truly is a difference, um, and I don't think it's that deep. I think it's as only as deep as you make it. Because my thing is, if you are in a space of where you truly understand what you want from a person, you should be able to communicate that. Mm-hmm. So I love a lot of people. I ain't in love with a lot of people. I could do without them. I could still love them from afar. Mm-hmm. Just curious, how many people you in love with? Um, it's about three, yeah, about three, four, five, six. Yeah. About seven. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, other, keep going I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need other six to start chipping in on this. Yeah. So, <laughs> one of them is underage. She can't chip in. Yeah. She can, she can get out I'm so, like, for real, uh, so in love with her, man. <laughs> she got it in her room, too. She be ready. Now, I don't know how to eliminate it. It might be uh, a little tart, but no, I just think that, like, when you're in love with a person, um, you strive differently for, for for certain things together. You you want to see different things in that person. When you just love a person, you, I can love you and leave you. Like, I'm fine with that. And I still love you from afar. I wish you no no bad, no ill will. And I still love you. I'm a, I'm a, I wish you well. But I, I think there is a there is always a huge difference. It's not that deep to me. I really think you just have to pick a side. What's the defining line? I mean, let's say you and I, for, for instance. Mm-hmm. Where did I cross the threshold of you loving me versus being in love with me? Um, I think uh, just seeing, okay, so I could say I love you, you know, a couple of, maybe a year or so into our relationship. Because I don't think we even exchanged that type of stuff at first, like that I love you stuff. Like that wasn't something we kind of played with. Like, we were older too, so I can't, like mid 30 so you can't just say, like, oh yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, I th- 30s. Well, it was in our early 30s, like 33. Dude, it's closer to 35 than it is. Uh, 31, 30. 32. Whatever. <laughs> Call it what you want to. You say it because I ain't with it. Anywho, I think that it, it took like once we were probably like probably like a year or so in. Um, and that's when I probably said I loved you. Um, to say that I was in love you, it took me to see you with my kid in the relationship that y'all had that I was like, okay. I could see doing a lifetime with this person. That that changed for me. It did. And I think that when I was like, okay, I'm in it forever, is um, one night I, I, I told you this when we were having our little cigar talk. Um, don't get me wrong. I think my husband can take do things and take care of me in, in, in ways. But um, one night I just had like this really rough day, and he was trying to be romantic and give me a bath. Instead of just running the water, he actually bathed me. And I sat there in my head, and I just kind of like a tear kind of, he didn't see it. I just kind of wiped my eyes like, oh, I was washing my face. But I cried a little bit to myself because I was like, oh, if I couldn't take care of myself, he could do it. Yeah. To see that for yourself at that point, it made a difference for me. 
to say, okay, it wasn't just about, oh, he can take care of me or he can try, he can provide for us or he'll take care of the household, but you could take, you'd be willing to take care of me because it was never a question for me if something happened to him that I wouldn't take care of him in that way. I would, you know, you sick, I'm going to make sure you're good. I'm going to make sure you're well. But that was for me when you had, when you bathed me, it was like, it was romantic in a way, but it, but in my mind it was like, oh shoot, if I really couldn't do this for myself, he would do that. It reassured you. Yeah. All right. It was that reassurance. Look at that man. All right. And so that was dope saying, to me. Man. Uh, that was dope to me. R&B music so, planning. Your so for exactly. you, when did you know you were in love with me? I think I, I came That's to the you. conclusion of the realization that I was in love when there were life-changing decisions that needed to be made. And when everybody else would have said, you need to go left, you're the one who said, I'm not going to tell you which way to go. Whichever way you go, I'm going to stand behind right you. Right with you. And yeah. there, there were, you know, a lot of deterrence, a lot of people that, that spoke ill of the decision that I made. But you were the one who was like, I don't care what they say. As long as we all right, what they say don't matter. And you made the decision. Dude, that, that was only, like, with. maybe, like, two years ago. Like, don't. Hell, so the bath was only a couple months ago. Right. But I was, like, so, forever. That was, like, I knew forever. Like, okay, I could do it forever. Now, how long have you been married? Yeah. How long have we been married? It's six years. We'll be seven oh. this year. Okay. How long have we been dating? Yeah, I don't really count that because yeah, I don't okay. know when you was really serious. If you was seeing everybody, if you was seeing Keisha. I mean, he said the bad was a few months Yeah, ago. I don't know who you was, who all that was. <laughs> you know, you was pulling a DMX on me. I mean. It was Brenda LaKeisha. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Darn, LaShawn. And Alicia. And Alicia. And Alicia. It was about three kills. <laughs> <laughs> three kills? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so I went, I can't speak to that. <laughs> nah, no, seriously. I mean, that one chick I met at the ice cream shop. Cooking. Oh, you mean cooking? <laughs> cooking. You met her at the ice cream shop. ice cream really? problem. <laughs> but <Tired>. no. <laughs> Laureen Cobb. So it was, it, so for you, it was like making those life-changing decisions. So for me, and, and this is how I looked at long-term relationships, because like I always tell them, I didn't have a bunch of boyfriends. I didn't. I wasn't, I probably dated a, a, quite a few guys. They didn't see my kid, per se, whatever, but... I only had if, a, a handful of boyfriends. I can count them on my hand. If I ain't a player, I just fucked a lot with a person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, nigga, did you just try to call me a hole in the line? Like, is that what you're trying to say? Is you trying to call me a hole in the line? Hey, yeah, what chapter is that? Yeah, it better be, it, it better be Exodus at yeah. the end. He better go on somewhere with this mess. But anyways, so... um. No, I didn't have a lot of boyfriends or whatever. So I, but when I was in relationship, like I knew if I really wanted, like I knew somebody, like if I knew where I was with that person, I let them know. And I was like, okay, so are we gonna do this? Is this a relationship? So I always made it known, like where are we? I'm not letting you guess. I'm not gonna let you figure it out or assume. And I think that that's the difference um, in me and in in a lot of women. I think sometimes we be in relationships and don't speak up. Like you said, he was in a relationship. You were in a relationship. He didn't even know he was in. So that that's to me that's where I say like you gotta you gotta make people understand what you want. You gotta be able to communicate that, and and, and that's important. So you gotta understand. Yep, the end game. That's the difference between you love somebody or you in love. I think the communication is the most important. Absolutely, and and to me that's a red flag if a dude ain't willing to communicate. Like I'm, I'm like okay, so you want to just keep slit talking me? Yeah. That's what we doing. Yeah. No, I gotta, I gotta have some communication. Man. I'm at that point now. Like, if, if one, if we can't talk about anything, mm-hmm. the ball game pretty much over. Like, if I, if I come to you with whatever discrepancy I got, and me and you always end up in an argument or whatever, nah. But you know what? I'm the arguments be good, though, Rob. Don't the arguments end up somewhere else? I mean, you know, like, yeah. I, I, you I like it when they... I like, like the that, argument you know? a little I like, bit. I like to throw up against I the wall. I wish arguments would end in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's, they can. It's, they can. They never do. So, it all I, I agree with what, what you said, Rob, about the communication, but... Yeah. And communicating, there has to be a level of respect. Right. Mm-hmm. No disrespect. Right. If, if that respect down. isn't brought to the table during right. the communication, right. then, I mean, I ain't we ain't, exactly. It's right. going so over I my take head. that approach like Shannon Sharp. You may not like me, you may not respect me, but your damn sure ain't going to disrespect me. Right. That's, that's how I feel about it. But in that same token, <laughs> I'm not going to disrespect you, but you got to apply those same principles Absolutely. coming back. And, 
And so poor choices of words can be viewed yeah. as disrespectful. You're a lot of so people hence, ain't willing let me, to listen. Right. So let me tell you, I think sometimes that happens in, in marriages when people don't be really listening. So, for example, I'm just going to throw this out here. Last uh-huh. week, me and Solomon went to the game. So everything is now digital. It's not like you can get your tickets printed. You can yeah, do all true. this stuff like mm-hmm. that. So why you take better. back and take a deep breath? No, because I'm going to see what this is. Okay, so let me show you. I kind of know what you're doing. Solomon and I were having a conversation. I was like, Solomon, I want to go to the concession stand. You know, whatever. Let me, you know, let me see. So he got his thing. So I'm like, let me scan. And then I read on the thing. It says they don't accept scan. No cash. So no um, no scan as far as the, um, like, from phone, from your phone. You got to be able to take your phone up there. So I said, I said, never mind. Don't even worry about it. I said, you know what? So I want y'all to pay close attention to what she so just listen, said. So listen. So he she got it. She said, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Because not, I don't. Not, can I get your phone because but, I'm going to concession But time today. out. So listen what I said when we were leaving out. I said, babe. So when we, uh, when I said, babe, we're gonna have to really get this thing changed over. I'm gonna need access to that account. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Yes, I did, Solomon. We were, you ain't even listening. Well, I am listening, and well, that's wait. why I can say no. No, so why you said she's saying the words correctly. Ask her to you. Listen, what I'm gonna phone. say. So oh it was. Use we're coming. Term. We're coming out of the game. We're leaving early, so I'm happy because we're getting blown out. So you know, yeah, I was saying, you don't want to stick it out. Solomon, he always he'll sit down yeah. to the end, but he like decided. We live in he decided yeah, yeah. to whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so he decided yeah, to leave. So he so agreed. Up. He agreed to leave. So when we're leaving, I was like, babe, yo, you know, I said next time we come to the game, I'm gonna need access to the account because um I I refuse to go through the whole season asking you for access to this to this thing he that's, like that's understandable so, okay oh it is that's very understandable since we pay for the tickets together yeah. right okay 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 so we going out solomon says to me you wait what you refuse i said i refuse to have to ask you for your yeah, phone like why ask you for access ask why should i ask you time. just send no, me send me access yeah. to the thing for some reason Speaking to her, the mic so everybody can hear you. Her tone. It was oh, it was the tone. Her tone. Lying. I understand hey, that now. Exactly. I, 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 now, now, you heard her say, Solomon what did she say? I, re- what did she phone, say? Well, because I, I refuse. I refuse. Now, I, imagine somebody said said. refuse but you in an animated listen tone. To the whole if, I, if I can play devil's advocate. Listen to the whole context. Listen, listen, listen. listen. It's hot out. She's probably sweating. It wasn't. It wasn't. That wasn't me. It was raining. It was raining. It was overcast. Very hot. Because I wasn't Yo, even mean about it. It was, with the tone. it was not even a exactly. tone. Solomon the took the tone the when he heard the word, I refuse. He didn't, I didn't even, I said, if I was being nasty, I want to say, babe, I said, babe, um, I'm going to need access to that account, you know, for the season because I refuse to go through the whole season. But you know what you could have said? I, I don't want to keep having to ask you. Thank you. Time out. But what? But why did refuse kill you? I don't know. It just seems why like. Why refuse kill refuse you? Refuse to oh. stab him. You know what? Refuse in a, in a, in a way, you. in a way, in a way, he, he right. Because it, it, it was just refuse, the, You ain't going to take no probably, other option. It was probably the way you delivered. It yeah. wasn't that I was delivering it nice. We were coming from the game. I wasn't mad. We were going to school and hang out with you want to know the beautiful part about this? The beautiful part is, had you caught me two, three years ago in this same situation to where she would have needed my phone to go to the concession stand because of the he shit that was like in my phone. You never did it. Because of what was in my phone? I'm coming with you. Exactly. <laughs> I would never have given her my phone. We're at a stage now to whereas. Oh, babe, I, don't I need to ask here, here for you your phone. Because I know there's nothing to hide. But I don't want to have to ask you for your phone. No, you shouldn't have to. How many years ago you said? Two, like three two or three, three. But, two but, or three. but hey, heavy on the two. Refuse, <laughs> refuse. I can, I can yeah. understand that. But it refuse. wasn't in a mean way. So and my thing that, is, but it word. don't matter. That word. So yeah. men, y'all, it's a trigger, trigger word. word for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Refuse probably came from somewhere else. It wasn't your fault. It, it was wasn't. Just, no, and that's trigger. what I said. It was something I deeper. I said, and I even said to him while we going back, I said, why are you making such a big deal? And I'm. This is me talking. He even was getting loud and indignant to the point people walking by said, you better cut. Now, nah, by then, I don't cut Now, if script. I can play devil's advocate. Now, I don't cut script. If I can play devil's yeah, advocate. Yeah, go ahead. His team was losing <laughs> by like 35 points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we was getting our ass <laughs> was Getting their ass full. It's a free game. Ass game. He wasn't that mad. He, he was like, it's not enough time. Though. Now, I'm frustrated. But it was the fact that it took us all the way there. That don't so happen in Cleveland. I didn't, and I ref, and look, and I refused. Look, and I refused to apologize throughout the week because normally, if I'm, I feel like I wronged him, I would have, um, I would have gone back and said because yeah. I have no problem apologizing. I don't. I'll be like, oh, okay, my bad, you know, or I try to smooth it out. 
No, we weren't smoothing nothing now. Yeah. It was I was cooking and we still functioned as normal, but it wasn't the same conversation. Yeah. So when I sat him down, I was like, babe, I what was it? Was it the word that triggered you? Because it was it couldn't he could never say it was my tone because I wasn't it was mad. Your tone with the word. I was with the not word. mad. My if I was you mad, didn't have why to am I going to be it went down by thirty five. I, I was like, look, that's what it is. I think it was that's that. exactly it was what it was. We were down by thirty five. If the bucks were winning by twenty five, go ahead, babe. Because because my thing oh, was, it wasn't that serious. But he said, why you just ain't ask me for my phone? But I should not have to ask you for your yeah. phone when we that's both have, should have access so, to so this sir, information. Let's be real. How difficult would it have been to say, hey, listen, um, we're going to be going through this all season long. Can we come up with another way? Why do we have to have the... a scenario of how I have to talk to him? Because it's that's one account. That's what I'm talking about. She can, she can sign it. No, they don't split it. No, because no. we have a seat. Really? So, yeah. That's weird. They don't. Because one name, one account, one email address. And the funny thing is, I'm the so one who opened the account. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, but can't she just, like, copy the barcode and send it? No, because it so says what, on what the screen now is no. She would have to um, register for her in. own Ticketmaster account. I have a Ticketmaster account And then I would have to transfer her ticket. He can transfer her now. To her account. He can transfer her now. Which I don't have no problem doing. But listen to what his response was. Not when she's refusing. Exactly. <laughs> you know, when somebody tells me they refuse to do something, well, I'm going to make you do it. Then. <laughs> you know? So then he's going to say, it's only like 60, 20 cents you're saving. I was like, no, it's not. I love to save that dollar at the stadium. I don't care. Oh, every time you go out there for whatever food it is, like it's about 50. the respect. It's of about the, card. the fact that I just want to be able to act. I want to own my own freedom. That's I don't want to have to rely on somebody to do something for me. I shouldn't have to ask you. Let me hold your phone, and you'd be like, "Nah, man." My That's phone, true, though. Phone, but I'm not like, going to tell you. Time out. His That's phone. True. Yes, you will know our season because your phone be dead because you up there watching. Well, oh, let me see who win in this game. He watching all the games. Oh, you can't see the phone. Yeah, right. yeah. So then I'll never oh, have yeah, access. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it was a problem. Yeah, absolutely. He, he Trust can't, me. He we got we got that on lock. We got the separate phone on lock. No, okay. <laughs> Y'all don't get, don't get, don't get Solomon, don't don't get Solomon head split to the white meat. Okay, I just talk cool on you. I'm all about catching the charge. Go ahead, as you were. I need you yeah. to come here. Hey, Rob, what yeah. section of the stadium you said you was at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And look, and I'm going to be right on the top of the head. You're going to have to show the police, like, she hit me right, right here. Right here. Yeah, I'm Split the, yeah. Like, who got yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, but, nah, I, I think with relationships, I'm trying to go to the it, well, this season is kind of loaded. So usually I usually be like, ah, oh, no, nah, y'all can have my seats. I don't know about that this season. Well, no, it's not. They're just tied. Yeah. yeah. They went up. Like they went up. $2,000. No, they're $6,000. I mean, the, the man. Pretty, pretty. Oh, my yeah, goodness. <laughs> okay, so let's wrap this it's up. It's our here. year anyway. It don't matter. <laughs> what? It's always our year, according it's to y'all. Year, okay. But anywho. Hey, if you're in love with somebody, you'll do so many different you do. Because let me tell if you. I just I, love you, you know. I see, just, I upgraded I him. I was like Beyonce. He was sitting with his first wife. He was in the 300 station. He down on the 100 nah, with me. Yeah, we're yeah, oh, down now. Y'all in the 100? We in the 100. And we in row like hey, D. I, hold, on, hold, on. D. hold on, hold on, hold on. She said she Ooh. was in love with me, right? Yeah. <laughs> she, you heard her say she was in love with me, correct? Right. Why are you in on the 50? Hold on, hold on. If you was in, if you in love with me, <laughs> I'll be on the 50. I need you to apologize for what happened last Saturday night. Huh? So Ooh. I apologize for how you took my words. There you go. I never no, want to make perfect. you feel offended by my words because uh-huh. I love you. Ooh. So if that means being in love means saying you're sorry because you sorry, but I, I'll accept <laughs> that. Okay, thank you. That was my apology right there. Your honor. Shots fired. <laughs> yeah. 10 22. Now go get her a bar. Right. <laughs> get her a bar. I got, no. the, I got the, the target locked. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting on the go ahead. Just get to him. Give hey, me but the kill I, 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 I got a little bit of revenge on that. She 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 don't understand the reason behind it, but she knows what happened. Oh, okay. What was that? We'll talk about that later. Yeah, let's do that out there. Cause if I hit you on the camera, then I got witnesses. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be man. He's gonna be in the three hundreds, man. Yeah, he's nah, gonna be back in the three hundreds. Back in the three hundreds. Now he done got so bougie. He don't even want to take seats that's like on the two hundred. Know where we go? I be like, oh, dope, we don't that's in the middle. That's too that's far up. The, the number in the front yeah, is too yeah, big. It's in the middle. If you like, I walk the stadium all the time. What people don't understand is a totally different thing. I'm at the on point that right now. Yeah, I that one. 
I'm going to volunteer. So for our seats, they are in the um, like the visitors tunnel. So we're in 102, where the visitors come out. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so we're on row four. Right on that little corner there. As yeah. soon as they come yeah, out, it's yeah. like, when, like at the hey. end of the game when they throw yeah. gloves up and what have you. That's where y'all at. Yeah. yeah. In that corner. And it's yeah. cool. And like at first people were like, well, why did y'all get those seats? Well, I live in Tampa, so I mm-hmm. can see them any day, or yeah. you can see them at their practices, whatever the case may be. You don't get an opportunity to see those guys that way. So Solomon used to always laugh because when Carolina would come in. He'd be like, I was like, Solomon, get Steve's attention. He's like, Steve, Steve. And he went, look, I'd be like, Steve, hey, Steve. And he'll turn around, hey, thank you. Let me take that picture. He'll stand up, let me take his picture, and keep what? it moving. That is Because so it's a woman. Funny. It's I'm a woman. Gonna, I'm it's gonna, it's I'm going to one bucks game. It's fine. And I was the one that held the flag. And I have these Snapchat glasses. Oh, okay. With like, Cam, got some glasses yeah, like glass? that. And I was standing right in front of Cam Newton. Lord have mercy. So I had every time I got ready to turn around. Mm. Mm. That's what it was. I got you. But um. Brother Cam. So I want to thank y'all so much for uh, for joining us again. Rob being a second guest go around. Like I appreciate yeah, yeah. you. I really do. You was one yeah. of my faves. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate you. You can have me time. back anytime. And t- yeah, absolutely. And Tiffany for coming. Like Tiffany actually be volunteering. She was like, "Look, yo, I'm coming." I was like, "All right, I'm game." So I appreciate her. Um, even joining in. I'm glad to be back in the studio with two of my other favorite guys, both Serge and Alfie. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. We miss y'all. And then I have to go home to my uh, my very favorite guy. Jesus. Yeah. He, he, on the, he taking the wheel. He taking the wheel. Oh. Nah, I got I to do Mr. like Solomon a... Solomon David. I got to do like a shameless plug. Go ahead. Know. No, don't shameless. Nah, gotta, that's what's up. I got a new got? Uh, podcast called You Might Not Like This. Oh, on, wow. Uh, on Spotify and anchor so if y'all okay. want to check that that's out that's what's up it's just what me day? when do you do it I, whenever i feel like it i got six episodes <laughs> on there right I'm now about to check you out. so y'all check it out you might not like it you know but tell your friend i will no i'm gonna check it cousin. out i don't I'll like this nigga out. shit but is, there, is, better, there, is there a short detail of what it's about uh nine times out of ten like i've been doing a serious talking uh, about relationships and men and things that yeah, we Yeah, you be feel. at the park. You be out and about when you be doing it. I be watching yeah, your Instagram yeah, when you yeah, be cutting yeah. up. <laughs> I be out there. So check it out. That's Tell me I'm if you like it. Okay. How are you, you still know, doing you your other show? Like it, the other show right now, we, we kind of like. On hiatus. Yeah, I'll take gotcha. it. Gotcha. Gotcha. No problem. Gotcha. Yeah, me, but me, and my, um, me and my sister like are it. looking into doing a podcast called Broken Sisters. Yeah. Okay. We both pretty much go through the same bullshit, so. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to come on uh, Dr. Shannon's therapy. Get there you Dr. go. Phil, Dr. Shannon, y'all need some of me right here. Uh, uh, look, unadulterated. Before we leave, let me ask you this. You know, because you are going, you would say that you and your sister will be, are thinking about a podcast, Broken Sisters, y'all have gone through the same bullshit and what have you. Do you think I would love to hear has, that. That has basically taken away your confidence in and what men are able to provide you or finding a good man? I have trust issues. I have really deep trust issues. Mm. Deep. Like, 20 feet under deep. So do you think going into a new relationship that that new man would have to deal with those trust issues that yep. have been caused the by new pre- man would not have to deal with the trust issues if he wasn't doing the same exact thing well i'm not so saying what, what you're calling me in if, yes. let's say if you got out of this recurrent relationship you were single for a while let's fast forward 2022 some guy sees you at a cigar lounge at your restaurant what have you sparks your interest says can he take you out on a date you guys hit it off and you know see each other two three four times it's gonna take me about a year like i said them trust issues are still gonna be there because they don't go away you will because have you it. Always, a man always shows a sign my thing is explain that yeah i do no if she says a man shows a sign but my thing What's is you're, you're prejudging a man based on something Somebody that someone else. else has done never I, judge I me say, but i didn't say that the man did the same sign okay <laughs> It's just that sometimes y'all give y- y'all to show your yeah. hands. Certain things that y'all do show your hands. Certain things that'll like, I, and it's not that you're doing it intentionally. Mm-hmm. It's just a red flag for us in our mind because I, it, we've seen this play out before. 
There are certain things that women do when you're with them or whatever, and then after a while they start slacking off, he's like, oh, I don't see what is going on. Oh, yeah, let me yeah, go yeah, ahead yeah. and let yeah. me exit stage. Let me just, yeah. let me just yes, put Lord. it yeah. So that's When you go into a is. relationship with anybody, right, mm-hmm. and you showing them, oh, the world is a better place. <laughs> and then a year from now, the world is fucked up. Well, everybody wear makeup before they go on TV. Mm. Yeah. Oh wow. Bars. Okay, on on that note, Bars. we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna wrap this Bars. up. Solomon, thank God this is Shannon Roya Davis. Damn Academy Award winner. Right? Sol- I mean, <laughs> Solomon <laughs> Davis. And this is his, hers, and ours. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless. Peace. Wrap that on us. Bars. <laughs>